going on? Serena Morales here, and this is En Mi Barrio, and I am here with the icon, the one, the only, Danny Trejo. Danny. Welcome to my barrio. This is your barrio. <laughs> Tell me about your barrio. Let's hear it. Well, this is La Brea. This is the first Trejo's Tacos that we started mm -hmm. right here. Right after this, we went to uh, Hollywood, so now we have eight, four are still operating. The rest of them were just holding on till the pandemic is over. Yeah, for sure. You are an LA like legend, like people everywhere. They're like, oh, Danny Trejo. You're like feeding LA now. Yeah. You're like feeding the people that have sort of created you. You know, we, um, <laughs> during this pandemic, we've fed hospitals, we've fed homeless, we fed uh, different communities that just like say, hey, we're gonna pass out food, will you join us? Whoa, we take 500. You're from? I started out on Temple Street. Temple Street, with Burbank, and then uh, Echo Park. And my mom and dad bought a house in Pacoima when I was 13, that's where okay. I grew up. That's that's kind of, that's my neighborhood. You know. How, you know, there's so many barrios, as you were saying, yeah. like in LA, yeah. you become your neighborhood. Absolutely. Like, what was that like? And how Absolutely. are you kind of the person you are based well, on? Well, I think, I think part of it, part of it is that. You know, and people always say, why do you do so much? Why do you do? And I always say, I owe. I don't know about anybody else, but I owe a debt. You know, I owe huh. a debt to my neighborhood. I owe a debt to people around me. When I got out of prison in 1969, I knew that the only way I could stay out of prison was to either, it's like, to just be of service to my community. That's wild, cause you know, make a lot of money, you got business, you got eight <laughs> restaurants, you got your donuts, but for some reason, you never lost sight. Can't, I honestly believe you can't. I've seen people that are miserable with a lot of money. You know, I've seen people that are miserable with a lot of money. In fact, I, I pull them and come on, come with me. Come with me, let's do this. And, and oh my God, oh my God. And the feeling that you get from helping somebody, you know, just helping somebody. And you're not giving them a handout, you're giving them a hand up. You know, just come on, you know. and, and, and I love doing it. Well, what does it mean to you now because... And the reason I love the Ram is that a lot of times you will see them in different, doing different community yeah, service. For sure. And that's my team, you that's know what I mean? You know, it's, them. and because of... Uh, that, I, that's one of the reasons why I, I feel like I'm a part of the Rams because we're on the same on the same page as far as taking care of our community. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you literally Aaron Donald, your voice. the beast. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you go back to the Rams really quick because now they're they're in Inglewood. Yeah. You know, Molly and God. the community service group yeah. is doing a ton in the community, but also you know the guy that you rep. You know, Aaron Donald, like he does a ton. Um, when we had Samson, you know, at the other taco joint that you have, like all those guys, they do, they're aware that they are bigger than yeah. the game, right? Yeah, absolutely, that's what it is. They, that's what they know. And that's what's beautiful, that they have the humility, you know, the, the humbleness to say, wait, yeah, we might be bigger than this game, but this is our job, Yeah. you know, and, and Los Angeles loves them. So now they're in, they're in, Los Angeles got them. When we go to the game, yeah. you know, and you see, you see, thirty different barrios that are usually at war, and you see yeah. them all together, and it's like, yeah, go Ram, go yeah. Ram. Finally, what? How would you describe LA? Because I'm over here, like, you represent LA. Well, how would you just Los Angeles? Like, what is it? I, I think for me, I, I've been all over the world. I've been so blessed, you know, and. Uh, I honestly believe that that I, I don't think I would rather live any place but LA. I, come join us. I would say that it's like you know what you'll feel at home, and uh, and and you will just stop off at my restaurant. And tell them you're here. Tell me you're here, and I'll come down. <laughs>